Howdy nerds, geeks, and peeps with smarts in the streets. I'm going to show you how to disable the beep so you can get back to enjoying washing sheets. So what you're going to need for this is a Phillips screwdriver, a paper clip, and two buttons. And uh, I know it sounds silly, but definitely called MacGyver before. But anyway, <clears throat> these two buttons come from the side of the unit and they pop off and expose two screws. There's just one here, one on the other side. There's two screws in the back. One located here and one underneath the power cord right there. Then the assembly just lifts up. I recommend leaning it against the wall so it's like that. And then what I recommend doing next is putting down a towel. So just one second. Okay, the reason why I did that is if you lose any of these screws that come out from here, 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 and here, and here, you'll be bummed trying to find them down the drum. So this right here is what's known as the control board that goes right there. There's four screws that attach to it. They keep it attached, I mean, and this splash guard goes over it. There's two screws on the side, one on the left, one on the right. Pull that off, pull the control board off. If you want to, you can unhook it from these clips so it's easier to get access to, and then put down something behind it if you need to but for me i know exactly where what's called a pzo electronic noise maker it's this black semicircular shaped object here um before i did any damage to it it's normally silver just lay it flat what i did is put down a piece of plastic Set the control board down so you have a flat surface. And then if you could see the piezo here, on the back side of it, there's a tiny, tiny black cable. It's hard to see with this, but all you have to do is take a paper clip, make sure you unplug the unit before you do any of this. Should have said that first, but anyway, go behind here and just pull this little cable right off the PZO. That's the tiny five volts that go to the PZO to make it make that buzzing noise. And then you power back on the unit. Now there's power going to the unit and this is the on and off power button that's normally right here on the hood. Push that. No beep. Enjoy.